you whenever you're ready. Good. So we're rolling. There awesome. We hey guys, uh, Josiah here, and I've been thinking about you guys ever since camp. Uh, the morning after, I was I just found myself praying for you and so thankful for the way that the Lord met us. But this video right now. I hope brings a reminder to you of some things. As I've been praying about you, I've been thinking about that message that I shared Thursday morning about how sometimes the things that are most true of us don't always feel the most real. And uh, at camp, I think all of us experience some measure of, of the truth of what it means to be the redeemed children of God. Like I think about Wednesday night when when so many people came forward and there were just hugs all around and that reality of running into the arms of the Father as the redeemed children of God, those who, who have had a door opened to us to run into the arms of the Father, like that reality was it, was, it was a true reality, but it was also real, real. Like you got to experience that. And I know that coming home from camp the reality of what you experienced at camp can have a, tend, a tendency to start to wane. Like other things become more real. Like you just had a fight with your mom and your little brother is annoying and different things start to creep in and the awesome camaraderie that you had at camp and the experience of the presence of God, it feels distant. And you can start to wonder, was that even real? Like, have I changed at all? Is Jesus working in my life at all? Those are all experiences that I remember having in my teen years and even as an adult. Sometimes things that happen in the past can start to feel distant and they feel less real. I wanna call each and every one of you to something that God consistently called the people of Israel to. He called them to remember. There were times where, where God called the people his people to even build altars at places where he did something really significant, like a big pile of rocks, like mound up a ton of rocks, guys. So every time you cross that mound of rocks, you can remember that I did something significant in your life. And I wanna ask each and every one of you to recall and remember, to take a moment to reflect on the reality of what God did in your life at camp. It was a week ago, it could feel distant. You could be wondering if it was real. And I want to tell you that I believe it was real. I know that God was working in my life in very real ways. And so what can remembering look like? It could look like you taking a moment right now, stopping, closing your eyes and saying, Holy Spirit, thank you for what you did at camp. Will you help me to remember it? Will you bring back to my recollection some of what you did in my life and allow gratitude to, rip, to rise up in my heart? Remembering with gratitude is powerful in the Christian life because sometimes we're faced with stuff that can bring us down and we need to remember with gratitude. So I wanna challenge you to do that. It allows that which was very true and very real that happened in the past, it allows us to bring it into our present. And, and in that sense, we can be reminded of who we are in Christ. So that's one thing I wanna challenge you with. The second thing is, is also what we talked about Thursday morning. In order to stay consistently aware of who we are in Christ, we have to go to God's Word. Like we have to be reminded again and again and again of what Scripture says about us. Because like I've already said in this little video, the world will often try to cause us to think things about us that are not true. Like, like you're not loved, you don't belong. Uh, I, I could list any number of things that we can begin to believe about ourselves because of experiences that we have. And we gotta stay connected to God's word. And, and I gave you one little way to experience that on Thursday morning. I encouraged you in Ephesians chapter one to read that passage and to ask the Holy Spirit to give you a picture of a truth that he would highlight to you. And to let that picture of truth come alive in your heart. Maybe you need to be reminded right now that you belong or that you're chosen or that God had a plan for your life before the foundations of the world, that you would be holy and blameless in his sight. I don't know what the message is that the Holy Spirit wants to bring to your heart today, but I believe that if you'll take a moment and position yourself just by slowing down and opening up your Bible, I believe that the Holy Spirit can take a message, take a message and bring it to your heart and make it real to you. It'll be true and real. 
I'm so thankful for the time that we shared together at camp, and I just want to remind you that God can work in your life in the ordinary, not just at camp. And all it takes is a simple step of you positioning yourself for encounter. You have no idea how much Jesus wants to encounter your life right where you're at right now. Take a moment to believe it and take a moment to position yourself for encounter. God bless you. I love you guys. I'm thrilled for the time that we shared. And right now, I'm going to position myself for an encounter that you guys would not believe. Stay tuned. Yeah, it's that kind of encounter. <laughs> Sam! <laughs> oh, I felt so bad. <laughs>